morning students this is dr gvs ashiro associate professor in the department of mechanical engineering institute of aeronautical engineering hyderabad so in this session so i would like to discuss about uh, the tolerances and uh, fits in previous session uh, we have discussed about uh, the design uh, procedure and what are the requirements of the design of formation elements and uh, what are the considerations and the procedures also we have learned and that and the second one is the tolerance and uh, the fits uh, also a very important thing in uh, the mission design or uh, design of formation elements so what is this uh, tolerances and uh, what is these fits so i will tell you so in this uh, the basic terminology are uh, one is uh, nominal size so it is the size of a part specified in the drawing so whatever you have specified the dimensions of the uh, component so that is called as a nominal size suppose you want to so here okay, this is a one element the dimension is having here uh, this is uh, 20 and uh, this one is 40 clear so this is uh, these dimensions is called as uh, the 40 and uh, 20 uh, the, the, these two dimensions are called as the nominal size of the component clear? the length is uh, the 40 and suppose imagine uh, uh, this is a cylindrical part and uh, 20 is the diameter the so actual uh, the specified drawing but in actual condition this the, it may it may be uh, differ clear so basic size it is the size of the part to which all limits of uh, the variation are determined so all limits so uh, take uh, uh, all limits and uh, they specify the size this one also uh, the equal to the, the nominal size you, you can uh, say the nominal size or the basic size both are uh, uh, same this is uh, very different so the actual size it is the actual measured dimension of a part so in the previous one nominal size already you have specified in your drawing but in actual condition in actual after manufacturing so the, it may be differ so it is uh, it is called as the actual size so so suppose the same thing here thirty nine and off and uh, this one is nineteen and off mm see here uh, the nominal size is in previously uh, this one is forty mm and now it is uh, 39 and off and uh, it is uh, 19 and off so this is called as uh, this the, these the, these dimensions are called as the actual size actual dimensions clear so why uh, like this um, happened so the nominal size what is the uh, difference between these two actual size and the nominal size due to some uh, manufacturing errors so it may occur so clear so that's why you have to apply uh, some uh, tolerances on our uh, product, uh, finished product. Clear? So, how to apply and uh, what is the um, uh, tolerance, how to take uh, tolerance, I will explain. The limit of sizes, the next terminology is uh, on limit of sizes. These, there are two extreme possible sizes of a component. So, one is uh, the largest permissible size for a component is called upper limit and the smallest size is called as a lower limit so here uh, clearly all terminology uh, as shown in this uh, the figure this is uh, the shaft dimension and a hole dimension so here hole is uh, uh, the, the hole uh, the designated uh, uh, designated as internal uh, the dimensions of a component and the shaft is de designated as external comp external dimensions of the component so clear always represent the external dimensions um, of a component uh, uh, is designated as a shaft the internal dimensions designated as wall clear now see the shaft dimensions is uh, one is uh, the extreme uh, limit the extreme uh, the size is here upper limit the shaft dimension here upper limit shown and uh, similarly the lower limit 
it's clear the minimum or the smallest size of the shaft the smallest size of the uh, shaft is lower limit similarly so apply uh, for whole in the whole dimensions also here a lower limit and then a upper limit clear see here tolerance term used so what is this uh, tolerance here is the difference between this lower limit and uh, upper limit see the difference the difference uh, between the lower and the uh, upper limit that is maximum limit uh, and uh, minimum limit the minimum size and uh, maximum size it's also called as the upper limit is maximum size and uh, uh, the lower limit is called as uh, the smaller size clear and elements clear here we mentioned some elements so what is that uh, the elements here the difference between the upper limit of the shaft and uh, the lower limit of the uh, hole the upper limit of the shaft value the difference between the upper limit of the shaft and the lower limit of the wall now hole this is called as uh, allowance clear so this uh, terminology uh, the very important in the, the tolerance and uh, fits the next one is deviation the lower deviation upper deviation so it is the algebraic difference between the minimum limit of size and the basic size clear the lim minimum limit of the size and the basic size the basic size already we have um, uh, discussed in first slide so that is called as a nominal size so what is the difference between nominal size and uh, minimum limit of the size similarly the upper deviation the maximum limit and uh, the basic size so it is called as the upper deviation next next thing is zero line the zero line means it is the straight line clear so here uh, shown the straight line corresponding to the basic size so all the uh, sizes uh, the, the corresponding all the sizes so mentioned um, uh, the reference to this uh, line this that's why this line is called as a um, zero line the deviations are measured from this line only clear so the here uh, see you can uh, see this uh, line so the above line and the lower deviation and upper deviation are marked and below the line and the lower sharp deviation and um, the shaft tolerance also marked in this uh, diagram uh, um, shown all the all the terminology um, related to tolerance clear the minimum or maximum limiting size of the shaft and minimum or um, uh, limiting size of the shaft clear and that the maximum limiting size of the hole and the minimum limiting size of the hole so like that uh, um, they are uh, shown next tolerance now the tolerance is the uh, the total permissible variation from the specified basic size of the part so that is the maximum limit of the uh, shirt uh, the difference between the maximum limit of the shirt and the minimum limit of the uh, hole clear so it is, it is the total permissible and the variation from from the, the basic size of the pot that is uh, the the nominal size of the pot clear here uh, mentioned here see the shaft size is uh, uh, smaller than the whole dimension clear the shaft dimension the what is the maximum limit the maximum diameter of the shaft shown here and the minimum diameter of the mm, shaft clear the, similarly here the maximum diameter of the hole and the minimum diameter of the hole here the shaft size is lesser than the, uh, the hole dimension clear? and then here uh, uh, given some uh, tolerance here see here uh, the tolerance uh, the minimum diameter and then uh, the maximum diameter here some tolerance shown and similarly the lower deviation upper deviation zero line and then the lower deviation and upper deviation what we have uh, discussed in the previous slide all the all the terminology shown in this uh, the diagram and uh, here the types of uh, tolerance there are two types of uh, tolerances are there one is the unilateral tolerance and uh, bilateral tolerance so what is unilateral and what is bilateral tolerance unilateral tolerance means when both the limits of sizes uh, are on the same side of uh, zero line suppose your zero line is uh, like this and then this type of tolerance uh, are called as unil unilateral tolerance so this is zero line the both limits of sizes are on the same side of the zero line the same side of the zero line suppose here mentioned here uh, your uh, tolerance value clear the plus uh, the here
0 0.0 plus 0 point and minus 0 0.01 and then uh, here uh, so both both so either uh, positive side or uh, either negative um, side negative side so the all both the limits of uh, the sizes uh, represented on uh, uh, the same side of the zero line so either below or above like that so okay, this is a zero line clear Similarly, bilateral tolerance. When one of one of size is at one side of zero line and other uh, limit size is at uh, another side of the zero line, the tolerance is called this type of tolerance is called bilateral tolerance. So for zero line, clear. So one type one one type here, this is uh, no, positive 0 0.02, clear. Another side negative tolerance, clear. So here uh, 0 0.02. So either uh, positive so, uh, or uh, either one side of the zero line and other limit uh, of the size uh, at another side of the zero line. See here uh, shown clearly the unilateral uh, tolerance and uh, bilateral tolerance. So you see here uh, the, the basic the, the basic size of the shaft is uh, 20. Clear here tolerance shown plus 0 0.002 and uh, minus 0 0.002. This is uh, bilateral. So one is uh, above the other one side of the zero line, the another one is uh, below the zero line. Similarly, here uh, unilateral only either uh, above or below one side only 0 0.0 and 0 0.004 minus. Clear these type of tolerances. Uh, uh, are called as uh, unilateral and uh, bilateral tolerance. Next, coming to the uh, fits. Uh, fit uh, means the degree of tightness or uh, looseness between two mating parts. Clear. So the, whenever uh, you, uh, you want to um, assemble uh, two parts, the what is that first identify the uh, the degree of tightness. So and then uh, the R the looseness clear in previous uh, slide uh, one slide um, I shown uh, in that the shaft dimension is uh, lower than the, the whole dimension so that is uh, the degree of uh, it indicates the degree of uh, uh, fitness clear so it may be tightness or it may be looseness so suppose the shaft dimension is uh, greater than the whole dimension uh, that uh, that type of um, fit uh, um, comes under uh, that very tightness clear so so the, so it represents uh, what is the uh, the degree of uh, for that uh, the mating parts uh, is called as a fit again these fits are classified into uh, three types one is uh, clearance fit and uh, interference fit and uh, transition fit so, so one by one uh, we will discuss so first one is uh, the clearance fit the clearance fit is uh, the, there is a clearance or uh, looseness in this uh, type of uh, fits so i have uh, given example here in this uh, suppose here uh, one uh, Okay. This is uh, the hole, and then uh, clear. So here uh, the dimension of the shaft is twenty. The wall dimension is uh, thirty. So here the the yeah, the the dimension of the shaft is lower than the uh, whole dimension so it uh, clearly you can say this is a clearance fit why why because it uh, some clearance uh, between this wall and uh, shaft so some looseness uh, is there this type of uh, fits may be uh, slide fit and easy sliding fit and running fit etc clear so in this uh, in clearance fit the difference between the minimum size of the hole and the maximum size of the shaft the maximum size of the shaft is 20 the minimum dimension of the hole is here uh, 20 the minimum size of the uh, shaft is known as the the minimum clearance so similarly the difference between the the maximum size of the hole and the minimum size of the shaft is uh, known as uh, the maximum clearance so in this uh, the diagram clearance fit shown 
So one is the maximum clearance and the minimum clearance. See here, uh, short uh, dimension is lower than the, the whole uh, dimension. In this, uh, the maximum clearance, the maximum clearance uh, you can uh, observe here. The lower limit of the, the lower limit of the uh, shaft and uh, the difference between and the maximum limit of the maximum value of the hole. Clear. And uh, similarly, the minimum clearance, the minimum clearance, minimum size of the hole, the minimum size of the hole, and then the maximum size of the shaft. Clear. The maximum size of the shaft is called as a minimum clearance. The second one is interference fit. There is an interference or uh, tightness uh, in uh, these fits, uh, in, in these type of uh, fits. So, example, shrink fit, heavy drive fit, etc. The tolerance uh, zone of the hole is entirely below the tolerance zone of the shaft. In this interference fit, so the tolerance zone of the hole is uh, completely below the tolerance zone of the shaft. So the interference fit, the difference between the maximum size of the hole and the minimum size of the shaft is known as the minimum interference. Similarly, the difference between the, the minimum size of the hole and the maximum size of the shaft is known as the maximum interference. I will show you in the diagram. See, this is, so in this uh, interference fit, so this is uh, the maximum interference and the minimum interference. Clear? So maximum inter interference and minimum. Minimum interference is the maximum size of the wall the maximum size of the hole and the minimum size of the shaft. The maximum size of the hole and then the minimum size of the shaft uh, is known as the minimum interference. And uh, similarly, the maximum interference means the maximum size of the hole and uh, the, sorry, the max minimum size of the hole and the maximum size of the shaft. Clear? Is called as uh, the maximum interference. Next one is transition fit. So, in this type of fit, the limits for the uh, mating parts are so selected that either clearance or interference. So, it may occur depending upon the actual size of the mating part. So, already we have discussed about interference and uh, this clearance fit. So, this uh, transition fit, uh, it may be completely clearance or uh, interference. Clear? So, it is... Uh, uh, the, the, either a clearance or interference may occur depending upon the, the actual size of the mating parts. In this uh, transition period, the tolerance zones of walls and shaft overlap. Clear? The, in the previous one, the tolerance zone of the, um, the hole is completely below the tolerance zone, zone of the shaft. But in this case, uh, not like that, in transition period, the tolerance zones of wall and uh, shaft always overlap. Clear? So this is a uh, no, transition fit. So the it fit uh, it may be no, fish fit. Clear the transition. Next one is uh, the important uh, thing is the hole and the shaft basis system. So one is a hole based system and a shaft based uh, system. Uh, well, giving tolerances and uh, fits, uh, some designers uh, following the wall based system and uh, someone uh, following this um, shaft based system. What is the wall based system and uh, uh, shaft based system? When wall, is, wall size is uh, kept constant, so then shaft size is changed to obtain various types of fits uh, called the wall based system. So always it is uh, indicated by letter H. Clear. This, this type of uh, system is called uh, the wall based system. Suppose you have represented the, the tolerance uh, on, on your component H plus uh, 20H plus 0 0.02 or minus 0 0.02. So it indicates, the H indicates it is a whole base system. So it means here the wall size is kept constant. The shaft size is changed to, uh, it may vary. Clear? I will show you diagram. This is the wall base system. Clear in this uh, C, this is the wall dimension. The, it is uh, kept constant and shaft one and shaft two and shaft three. So different sizes are there. The shaft one, the, the one size and the shaft two another size and shaft three also completely different. So here C in clearance speed, when the shaft size is uh, less than the whole size, so the wall size is kept constant. So it may occur here uh, clearance fit. Clear? And then uh, the shaft size is uh, uh, some interference, inter uh, interference 
with the uh, this uh, the whole dimension that is uh, interference field the sharp dimension is overlap the, the whole dimension clear that is uh, uh, the transition pit clear the whole dimension and then uh, the sharp dimension so similarly sharp base system when the sharp size is kept constant the end wall size is changed to obtain various types of fits so here, uh, here shown in this diagram the sharp size is kept constant this is the sharp the one only fits and the size of the no, hole is it may vary clear the whole one so here uh, change the greater than the sharp size the clearance fit and the transition fit and a completely here uh, interference fit so these are the uh, references i have taken thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates